Good afternoon, horse residents. I'm Nathan Arell. And I'm Juanita Hoger. And this is the Horace Channel. Tonight on THC, we have a reports of a violent murder inside the city limits. Yes, our population has officially dropped into the double digits after a young man was brutally beaten to death on a casual spring jog. It seems that the suspect, Gail Johnson, hid and waited for several hours for Victor Timothy, a resident of Horace, to arrive while jogging. Then he aggressively bashed him over the head with a shovel and proceeded to mercilessly drive the heavy tool into the victim's caved-in skull until it was a heap of bloodily mulch and brain matter oozing bodily fluids from every orifice. Juanita, your passion for detail never ceases to amaze me. I believe we have a first-hand video of the murder. Yes, uh, it seems that there was a casual passerby with a video camera directly behind Timothy who filmed the entire occurrence and bravely escaped from the murder with his life. Jimmy. All right, I'm beginning my film. I'm doing a documentary on birds in the wood. Who is that? Who's that in my shot? Hey, hey you. Could you get out of my... Does he have a shovel? Hey. What are you doing? What... Could you... Hey, there's a bird nest over there. I know, I was doing a documentary. Oh my god! 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 You come back here! What is this? Where are your glasses, John? Where are your glasses? Where are your glasses, John? John, where are your glasses? never seen someone go, on, go to town on a human being like that in my life. Yes, that's the kind of passion for the craft that makes some famous. Not passionate enough, it seems, as Gil claims he was actually attempting to murder his brother, John. That is true. I actually sat down with Gil T. in jail for an interview. All right, let's see that, Jimmy. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Gil T. Johnson. All right. Now, uh, why did you uh, kill the man? I I didn't I didn't, I didn't know it was him. I, I just I, I didn't I didn't know. It, all right, I, I all right, all him. right. Um, who who did you think it was? Oh, I, I I thought it, I thought it was my brother, John 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 J Johnson. I thought it was Johnny. I I, I thought it was I thought it was him. Okay. Uh, what? Why would why would um why would your brother John be there? Well, well, every night he he, he goes on on evening jogs. Every night he goes on evening jogs. Every every evening. All right. Um, do you know who it was that you killed? No, no, I I, I have no idea who, who 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 it was. And 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 you were planning on killing your brother John? No, no, we were we were just we were just we were just playing around. We were just we were just, we were just playing a game. It was it was just it was just a game. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so um, you do realize that you're going to probably be going to prison for the rest of your life? No, no, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean to kill anybody. I, I, I didn't mean to kill. I, I hey. didn't know it was him. I, hey. I, I swear. I, look, I didn't look. know it was him. I, hey, I swear. It's, it's all right. I didn't hey, know. Hey, 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 back away from the prisoner. You're too close. Hey. Oh, oh, Everyone, detain the prisoner. Oh. Back out. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> wow, that seemed really intense. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I mean, it was a few hours ago, and it wasn't too serious. He hit me in the lung, and it lightly pierced my heart, but the doctors say I was pretty lucky. I actually was just feeling like maybe, um... Alright, we got a different news story to cover. We can talk about this later, thanks. <clears throat> During the uh, video, Guilty claims that he was expecting to find his brother, uh, John, 
though this claim is under high speculation as his brother and the victim have no physical resemblance. Could we get So it makes it quite difficult to believe him. And we do actually have an interview with Gil's brother, John Johnson, who he was supposedly attempting to murder. Hello, this Jimmy. is Juanita Hoger reporting live from John J. Johnson's basement. John's here to tell us a little bit about growing up with Gil and what that was like. Hey, uh, John, would you mind telling us a little bit about um, what, what your daily routine is? Well, you know, uh, probably after work, I just sit around the house and go for a run in the evening. Uh, Normally at the end of the run, Gil will kind of pop out, scare me every now and again. So, it's, so this was kind of a regular thing. Yeah, everything but but the shovel. I I don't know what he was doing with the shovel. So he's never tried to attack you with a shovel before. There, there was one time, but you know, family secrets. Family secrets. Do you have a lot of these family secrets? <laughs> doesn't doesn't every family? Not really. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm at a loss here. Um, yeah, he came after me with a shovel. We were just kind of playing around. He took it a little too far. He took it too far? And in what way? Ma'am, he brought out a shovel. Have you ever walked away with any uh, lesions on your skin or body? Can you please define lesions? Uh, open sores or bruises? You know, we wrestled around. There were some bruises on both sides. I kind of busted his lip one time, but that was just, we were playing around. Didn't mean to. So, you would describe your childhood as kind of abnormal? No, I would say it's average. And what brothers don't wrestle? Uh, everyone kind of gets bruises when you're playing a little too rough, horsing around. Have you ever been admitted to any sort of institution or hospital? Uh, a few times, but you know. Were these admittance because of guilty? Uh, there were a few times, yes, but others were probably sports, you know, average, average things, I would say. Okay, okay. Um, so what were you doing on that night? Uh, in, you know, I was going to go for my run, but I realized I was out of food and I was gonna, about to cook dinner before that. So I ran to the grocery store and it was getting a little too late. I guess I never really went for my run that How would you night. describe guilty? Um, you know, honestly, he was pretty good with his words. He, uh... He only got what he wanted. He could talk people into doing things, I know. So he was very manipulative? Uh, well, if you put it that way, I would guess yes. I would have to say so. Is there anyone else in your family who is kind of manipulative? Um, well, my mom, but you know, most women are crazy. Excuse <laughs> me. I'm sorry. So, um, you, uh... You say guilty usually got his way. What what was it that he uh, got his way with? Oh, uh, you know, as a child, it was just candy, treats. Um, as he got older, kind of the same things. So just got what he wanted, maybe to go out when he was grounded, or just able to do things that maybe he shouldn't have been able to do at the time. Do you guys ever have any pets? Uh, we had a few dogs, a few cats. You know, grew up on a big house, big yard. What happened to those dogs and cats? Uh, some of the cats just went missing. You know, farm pets, they run off. But uh, a few of the dogs were... Uh, uh, I don't know if I really want to go into detail. Did they also go missing? Well, we found them. It's just... I, I'd like to leave it at that. All right. Now we have recently received evidence that the suspect apparently has sadistic personality disorder. Yes, it's sort of where people get their jimmies out of abusing and manipulating others. They'll need more uh, detail than that, Nathan. Well, uh, sadistic personality disorder is usually characterized by a uh, by people getting enjoyment out of a pervasive and physical and or emotional abusiveness towards others. That fits with Gills who seems to highly enjoy the murder of Victor and his brother's claims that he enjoyed the violence. Uh, yes, these, sadistic, uh, these sadists lack the ability to feel empathy for other human beings and even derive pleasure from the pain and suffering of others. Now, because of this drive to humiliate and manipulate those in a sadist's social circle, his claim that he was attempting to kill his brother is being uh, taken into account 
because it would be far less likely that he was attempting to harm someone that he had never met. Now, Gil is currently being held in the state penitentiary and is awaiting trial for both the murder of Victor Timothy and the assault on Nathan, Nathan Orell. Yes. Um, evidence is uh, still being gathered on whether Gil should be sent to a mental institution or simply sent to federal prison. This is being disputed mostly because sadistic personality disorder is no longer considered an actual mental disease and was excluded from the DSM-4. What an interesting and inconclusive conclusion. Well, after the commercial break, we've got news of a triple rape homicide, and worse than that, the Vikings are losing again. Are you cold? I'm cold. Are you having trouble reading? I'm having trouble reading. You know what you should try? A Snuggie! A Snuggie? I bet you wish you had one. <laughs> you know what else makes it fun? What's that? Reading Chinese for Dummies. Chinese for Dummies! Yay! Our budget is so low that we need to advertise these two things on one ad just to make a profit. Snuggies and Chinese for Dummies. Buy it today. Why are we recording? Like, we should just start recording. 